Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox, t t uh, not a tutorial, but a video, I almost said tutorial there. As you can see, I'm waving to you. So how am I doing that without actually touching anything? As you can see, my cursor is in one spot, and that is it. It does not move, and as you can see, I can move my hands up and down anywhere I'd like. Maybe over to the sides, maybe, a little bit, yeah. So basically, how this works, um, if you don't know what, what you're seeing right now, basically I'm doing connect like tracking or VR type HTC Vive stuff using only one camera. And it detects where my hands are and then basically sends to my server, sends it to Roblox. Roblox takes that data, uses IK to do the hand position, uh, to do the elbow positioning. Um, and that's it. That is literally it. So, um, okay, so let's go in a, uh, so basically, I have Python running in the background on my computer. It takes the image data from my capture card, um, so my capture card is connected to my camera using a mini USB to HDMI, and then from there, it's uh, connect. then the uh, Elgato HD60, which has a one to three second delay, so it's low latency, not real time. Uh, I might get one in the future, have no idea, but basically it uses that, uh, connects to my computer, gets the image data, uh, applies a few filters, applies an HSV filter, and then sends it to my server, detects where my hands are, are of course, and of course it supports multiple hands, so uh, for every two hands is a person, so I could support maybe like 10 people in the same frame. Um, and then uh, in game I could just have 10 rigs and then uh, just apply every two hands to those rigs. So I could, uh, so I could support a lot of people with this. Um, uh, yeah, so basically from there, uh, it, Roblox goes ahead and for the, and I, by the way, I actually, so I did all the tracking stuff last night and then I did all the Roblox stuff this morning. Um, so yeah, it's really cool and how fast I did it, I'm quite impressed. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, then Roblox gets it. Uh, the IK system or inverse kinematics is a sphere sphere intersection, uh, which uses circle circle intersection uh, for X and Z, X and Y planes. Um, yeah, so it works really well. Um, so, I'm going to tell you guys in about three weeks from now, probably maybe three and a half, uh, the Roblox RDC 18, a uh, Roblox developer conference, will be kicking off, and I will be having an RDC vlog for that. And um, so basically, this uh, after that, I'm going to explain to you guys how this works, or even when I'm at RDC, it depends, because I'll have my camera with me, so this will work um, even when I'm uh, away from home. Um, so yeah, then I'll sh then when I'm not a coward and I'll show my face and everything and my body, uh, I will show you guys the footage I'm using right now, and this will easily uh, help display because I already have a display to tell me where things are and everything. So you guys will be able to see that, which is perfect. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys the footage for that as well. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is not this is like somewhat of a technical video. Mentions a few languages that most of you may not know, or some of you might know. Um, but yeah, so it uses Node.js, it uses a Python, it uses Lua. Um, I'll, I'll make a more technical video in the future about this. Uh, yeah, so it's somewhat like Connect, somewhat like HTC Vive. Uh, I, I'm planning to use this so. I have my phone on me, um, so I so I put my phone in a VR like Samsung gear, and basically I'll do the camera movement or camera orientation uh, via the gyroscope and acceler accelerometer, and then uh, that's how I'll do the camera part, and then I'll just have this so I can do uh, so I can have you know moving stuff, so it's going to be VR, but I'm doing the tracking with my hands and with one camera instead of two. And then I do the VR headset thing with my phone. So it costs uh, nothing for me, at least, I mean, considering for this project, uh, if we put everything that I purchased beforehand, it'll cost quite a lot. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cheap and it's uh, really good. So anyways, uh, I will be doing this later on. I'll be making a new video for this for a more technical version. Um, this is something new, They're not, not what I usually do, but yeah, it's a little bit different. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this little quick demonstration of the demo. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. This is a really cool project I've worked on. Uh, I'll probably improve it later on, probably put it in a new engine or something like that. Anyways.
Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe maybe to see more of this content. I might do more projects like this. Leave suggestions down in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to comment as well. And and you know what? If you're not if you're not uh, in that Spooks HD Discord, you know you get you you don't you miss out on some content and stuff like that. So go ahead and join the Discord down below in the description. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.